Hi everyone, welcome to 40k on point, the channel that quantify warmer 40k. This uh, video describe uh, the Space Marine Elite, the infantry uh, portion of the Elite, and it is using our predefined metrics. If you want to know more about the methodology that is used in this video, please follow the link in the description. The units that will be analyzed in this video are the Aggressors, Blade Guard, Centurion Assault Squad, Reavers, Terminator Assault Squad, Terminator Squad, and the Vet Vanguard Veteran Squad. So the first unit we're going to analyze are the Aggressor Squad. So for 120 points, you are getting two Aggressor and one Aggressor Sergeant. All model are armed with the Flamestorm Gauntlet. So the Flamestorm Gauntlet gives a total of 21's attack, of 12 inch strength 4 and the weapon automatically hits and also it gives a total of 10's attacks uh, of whip of uh, strength 8 AP minus 3 damage 2 as they are like a power fist they have uh, subtract 1 to the attack defensively uh, for 120 points you are getting 9 wounds of toughness 5 and a save 3 plus the unit has a 5-inch movement, and uh, the Angel of Death uh, rules were taken into consideration for this analysis. So overall, the aggressors perform extremely well in our metrics, reaching a score of 177%, uh, which is very close to be a sky blue. Uh, the unit is performing extremely well on two area, which is anti-personal shooting capacity, and anti-tank melee capacity. They're both reaching excellent score in those two area and the defensive cost is below average. So that makes a unit that has a much more firepower and offensive output than its defensive cost. Next we have the Blade Guard Veteran. So for 105 points you are getting two Blade Guard Veteran and a Sergeant. They are all armed with a heavy bolt pistol and a Mastercraft Power Sword. The Mastercraft Power Sword gives a total of 10 attacks and uh, with a weapon skill 3 plus, strength 5, AP minus 3, damage 2. Defensively, for 105 points, you are getting 9 wounds, toughness uh, 4, uh, the save 2 plus, and also the uh, invulnerable save 4 plus because of the Storm Shield. Overall, the Blade Guard uh, performed very well in our metrics, reaching a score of 144%. Uh, the Heavy Bolter Pistol uh, gives some score, but it's not very good. The area in which the Blade Guard performed very well is in uh, its anti-tank melee capacity. Also, its anti-personal melee capacity is quite good and it's a uh, fortitude score. So the defensive cost of that unit is uh, pretty low. And overall, that makes a unit in which its offensive output will be better than its uh, defensive cost. Next, we have the Centurion Assault Squad. For 195 points, you're getting two Assault Centurion with a Sergeant. And they are, they are all armed with the two Flamers, Siege Drills, and the Hurricane Bolter. The Flamer is Assault D6, so it makes a total of 21 uh, shot of Flamer that automatically hits, strength 4. And you have the Hurricane Bolter, which is Rapid Fire 6, strength 4, a 24 inch of range. The Siege Drills uh, gives a total of 10 attacks of uh, weapon skill 3 plus, strength 10, AP minus 4, damage 3. Defensively, 195 points buys you uh, 12 wounds of toughness 5 and a save 2 plus. That configuration of the Centurion Assault Squad perform extremely well, reaching a sky blue score of 200 34 percent so the damage output of those unit is more than twice the defensive cost of the models so they're reaching a two excellent score 
first the anti-tank melee capacity is way above the norm it is uh, per point one of the best damage seeking against uh, uh, vehicle of all the warmer units it is it is very 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 strong before any force multiplier and the anti-tank anti-personal shooting capacity both with the flamer and the hurricane bolter makes the unit almost uh, sky blue in anti-personal shooting capacity so it's a very flexible unit uh, the defensive cost is very close to uh, the norm of 10 so uh, it makes a unit that just has a lot of damage output next we have the reaver squad so for 90 points you are getting four reaver with one surgeon all armed with the special issue uh, bolt pistol and the combat knife so the special issue uh, pistol is a strength 4 ap minus 2 the combat knives give 16's attack, uh, strength 4, no armor penetration or uh, damage. The unit also is having a very standard intercessor uh, stat line. Defensively, for 90 points, you are getting 10 wounds of toughness 4 and a save 3+. Plus. There was no uh, grapple launcher or reaver graph shoot uh, option neither was uh, terror troops uh, taken into consideration for this matrix the reavers performed well in our matrix reaching a score of 121 percent they're uh, they're very good in anti-personal melee capacity with their knife and uh, but the other offensive score are pretty limited however their defensive cost is very low so that makes a unit that is very resistant so the def because the defensive cost is extremely low that makes a unit in which the damage output is still a bit better than than than, than the defensive uh, capacity so that's why it makes a unit that is a bit better than worth its point next we have the terminator assault squad for 165 points you are getting four assault terminator plus a surgeon they are all armed with two lightning claws so the lightning claws gives uh, 21's attacks of uh, strength 4 uh, but there's a reroll to the wound roll and AP minus 2 um, there's no uh, shooting capacity on this unit so defensively for 165 points you are getting 15 wounds of toughness 4 save 2 plus and invulnerable invulnerable save 5 plus teleport strike was also considered for this matrix overall the terminator assault squad performed very well in our matrix way reaching a score of 130 percent its offensive is uh, essentially anti-personal but uh, it is very close to a three star in its anti-tank capacity thanks to the reroll and what makes the unit also very good is its uh, very low defensive cost. So its uh, fortitude score is pretty, uh, uh, very, very, very tanky and resistant unit per point. So that makes a unit in which its, its offensive output uh, is a bit better than its uh, defensive cost. Next, we have the Terminator squad. For 190 points, you are getting four Terminator and a Sergeant. The all the Terminators are armed with Storm Bolters. The uh, Sergeant is armed with a Power Sword, and the uh, the other Terminators are armed with the Chain Fist. So um, overall, the uh, Storm Bolter uh, gives a lot of strength for attack at 24 inch. Uh, with uh, ballistic skill 3 plus and the chain fist is very interesting it's uh, uh, almost a, a power fist but uh, with a minus 4 armor penetration and when it attacks vehicle its damage turns to 3 so it's a very uh, very efficient damage output with no point increase so that's how they were equipped defensively 190 points buys you 
a 15 point, 15 wounds of toughness 4, save 2+, plus. invulnerable save 5+, plus. the teleport strike was also considered in the analysis. So overall the Terminator squad reached a very good score of 155%. Uh, it has very uh, good anti-tank melee capacity because of the chain fist. It has also uh, some uh, damage output on anti-personnel, both uh, melee and shooting. While it is not excellent, it is, it is okay. And the defensive cost is still very good, uh, reaching a 42 score per point of uh, 7.45. So that makes uh, the unit uh, very, uh, its defensive cost is quite low. So overall, that makes a unit that uh, its offensive output uh, is better than its uh, defensive cost. So that makes a unit that definitely is worth its point. Next, we have the Vanguard Veteran Squad. So for 140 points, you have five models. They all are they are all armed with the uh, Lightning Claw, Storm Shield, and Jump Pack. So it gives 16 attacks of strength 4 and with a reroll to the wound roll, AP minus 2. There's no uh, range uh, weapon capacity. And for 140 points, you are getting 10 wounds of toughness 4, save 2 plus, and 4 plus invulnerable save. Uh, with the jump pack, the move capacity turns to uh, 12 inch and it has the death from above uh, ability so overall the vanguard uh, veteran squad perform uh, well in our metrics but not quite good compared to the other uh, space marine infantry elite choice uh, it gives a bit more damage output than its cost than its defensive cost so uh, that makes a unit that is very good in uh, anti-personal melee capacity very good mobility and uh, a good also de defensive cost, but its damage output because it has no shooting capacity is also a bit more limited, uh, but that's still a, a unit that can be uh, uh, used in a friendly environment. So overall, a lot of good units in uh, the elite choice for the uh, if infantry elite choice for the Space Marine. It's uh, worth noting that uh, uh, almost all the units are good in close combat. Uh, so the elite unit of the Space Marine, uh, the infantry portion, is de de definitely dedicated towards uh, close combat. Uh, it's shooting capacity, uh, only the aggressor and the centurion per point that has a good anti-personal uh, shooting capacity with their flamers. Uh, also, the, the fortitude cost, so the defensive uh, capacity of the unit is pretty, pretty good uh, overall for all the choices. So that makes overall a lot of units that are uh, interesting for Space Marine players. Quick analysis for uh, those units. Uh, the Centurion is not considered a core unit, but uh, the aggressors uh, the Blade Guards and the Terminators are. So I've tested uh, those units with uh, uh, some force multiplier. So for example, uh, uh, the aura of a captain and a lieutenant uh, mixed with the aggressors uh, would brings the unit to a 223% value, so making the unit very easily uh, competitive. Uh, a chaplain paired with a uh, Blade Guard uh, it allows to reroll the uh, uh, the two hit in the melee, so it has a huge impact on the offensive output of the blade guard. So that brings the unit to 255 percent of value, very easy with only one uh, at quarter. And uh, the Terminator, also a core unit with the Librarian, which has the might of hero psychic power. It brings uh, the Terminator to 256 percent value. The Centurion uh, reached an excellent score of 234%, but doesn't have uh, a lot of uh, force multiplier options. Uh, the one I found was the Apothecary, in which it allows to uh, give some uh, defensive capacity. So that brings the unit to 275%. 
So overall, a lot of good options for the uh, Space Marine uh, in uh, their uh, Elite Infantry. And uh, so the, uh, this video was to describe uh, those, those units and it was using our normalized metrics. Please uh, feel free uh, to comment on how to increase those units. Also, uh, subscribe if you like this content. I will upload all the units of 40K. And uh, also, uh, check my other videos. Uh, it can help you uh, assessing the capabilities of your opponent when you play. Thank you for watching. Over and out.